In this lesson, we are going to look at how to calculate the percentage yield. Now, a uh, formula for percentage yield is so is equal to actual yield divided by theoretical yield. Now here, we also need to know the difference between the actual and the theoretical yield. So in, uh, during the chemical reactions, where if we are carrying out a chemical reaction in a laboratory, we can measure the reagents and also we can weigh the product. But sometimes, uh, we can just say often the actual product what we are going to get is less than what we are going to expect so there should be some expectation before we do the experiment so what this means is the actual yield this is they are just the actual amount of product produced by a reaction and in most cases uh, the actual yield will be given in, in a question now so before you start calculating the percentage yield given the actual yield so there is a need of finding the theoretical yield so the theoretical yield is the expectation the amount of product that we are expecting to get if the reaction was to go at 100 percent now then we can have a picture where maybe you have a farm or a field where you've grown maize and you just look at the way the crops are coming and the way they are looking how green and health they are then you come up with an assumption of okay i'm going to i'm sure i'm going to get the 200 bags out of this field then after harvesting, you find to get maybe a 150. So you can see that the 150, what you have gotten now, that is what we call the actual. Then before that actual, maybe you are expecting a 200 bags. So the 200 bags is what we are referring to as a theoretical health. Now, after we've written this uh, formula, let's now dive in. Let's have the first example. So the first example, if 100, I mean, if 60 grams of carbon was bent in oxygen and uh, 160 grams of carbon dioxide was produced, what is the percentage yield of uh, carbon dioxide? So the first step that you need to undertake, as long as you are calculating the percentage yield, you need first to write the balanced chemical equation. So let's begin by writing the balanced chemical equation so we will have carbon reacting with the oxygen so this is what we call a combustion reaction as carbon is reacting with oxygen and the product is uh, carbon dioxide from there we can now write the chemical symbols so here we can see that we have carbon C plus oxygen now oxygen is a diatomic gas at rtp then the chemical formula for carbon dioxide is co2 now from there we have to check if the equation is balanced so let's check here on the reactant side there is one atom of carbon and also one atom of carbon on the product side we have two atoms of oxygen on the reactant and also two atoms of oxygen on the uh, product side. So for an equation like this one, the combustion reaction of carbon and oxygen giving us carbon dioxide, this one gives us a balanced chemical equation. Now after that, we need to find the the theoretical yield since the 160 grams was the grams or the mass of carbon dioxide that, that was produced so this is our actual so this is our actual yield because it was the 
product that was produced. So we need to look at now how much of carbon dioxide can we get based on calculation. And remember, in most cases, the theoretical yield is found by uh, calculation. It is based on calculations involving the amount of reagents. So now let's begin by finding the mass of carbon dioxide that we can get from this equation. So here we can see that we have 60 grams of carbon. Then we are trying, we are going to assume as if we don't have 160 grams. So what we are going to do is we are going to use a mass to mass. So we are going to use the mass given by carbon to find the mass by carbon dioxide. So this method is what we call a mass to mass. So what you are going to do is we are going to focus on two elements. I mean on two parts. The first part is carbon because the mass of carbon is given. The other part is carbon dioxide since we are solving for the mass of carbon dioxide. So from there what we are going to do is we are going to write the given mass carbon dioxide on the carbon dioxide. I mean or the given mass on the carbon side then also here we are going to put x since we do not have the mass for carbon dioxide now after you are done that the other part that you need to look at is you need to find the relative atomic mass and relative molecular mass so for carbon we can say that the mass for carbon is just let's just write 12 so we get 12. Now for carbon dioxide, since here we are dealing with a compound, we are going to find its mister. So from the uh, compound, which is called carbon dioxide, we can see that we have one atom of carbon and two atoms of oxygen. So we are going to say carbon times one plus the oxygen uh, times the uh, two. The mass number for carbon is 12 multiplied by one for oxygen that is 16 so 12 times 1 is 12 plus 32 so we can see that here we get uh, 44 so this 44 will be written here so now after we have done this we are going to cross multiply so now we can now see that 12 multiply with x so 12 times x we get 12x then here we can just write it the way it is 12 60 grams times uh, 44 if you want you can just proceed by multiplying 60 times 44 so 12 we divide by 12 also here we divide by 12 so we can see that 12 into 12 is 1 12 into 60 that is 5 so you can now multiply 5 times 4 is 20 then we carry 2 5 times 4 that is 20 plus 2 is 22 so what we are saying the expected amount of carbon dioxide in terms of mass that was expected was 220 grams so you can also see that the actual yield should always be less than the theoretical yield. So now let's proceed by finding the percentage yield. So our percentage yield is equal to actual yield divided by theoretical yield times 100 percent. So the actual is the one that was given 160 grams divided by theoretical here 220 grams multiplied by 100 percent so if we divide this 160 divided by 220 multiplied by 100 we are going to get 73 percent so this is now our percentage yield let's have another example Okay, now we can move on to question two. 30 grams of propane burns in air to produce 70 grams of carbon dioxide. Calculate the percentage yield of carbon dioxide. So we are going to begin by writing the balanced chemical equation. 
here we have propane plus C. So whenever you hear this air, it is reacting with the oxygen. And uh, this reaction is also known as a combustion reaction. And whenever you are dealing with a combustion reaction, the products are carbon dioxide and water. Okay, so now from uh, there, we need to convert our chem our weight equation into chemical equation. So the propane is an organic molecule with a chemical formula of C3H8 plus C. Here we have our oxygen, our oxygen, which is a diatomic gas, carbon dioxide is CO2 plus H2O water. Okay, now from there, let's check if the equation is balanced. So from the reactant side, we can see we have three atoms of carbon. On the product side, we have one. We have eight atoms of hydrogen on the reactant, two on the product side, we have all two atoms of oxygen on the reactant and uh, here we have three atoms, two from carbon dioxide and one from water. So you can see that the equation is not uh, balanced, so we have to balance. Now when we are dealing with a combustion reaction, you begin by balancing the carbon atom. So let's begin by balancing the chem uh, carbon atom. So we can see that we need to find the number that we can put in front of carbon dioxide. So what you do is we are going to divide the one into three. So one into three is three. So this tells us that we need three in front of carbon dioxide. Now, uh, this three is not only affecting carbon dioxide, it is also affecting the oxygen. So what this means is we have three molecules of carbon dioxide is like this so co2 plus co2 so you can see that we have three atoms of because if we add like if mathematics if we add x plus uh, x plus x we get 3x so here carbon dioxide plus carbon dioxide plus carbon dioxide we get three carbon dioxide so you can see that we have three, three atoms of carbon here then also we have uh, six atoms of oxygen. So oxygen now has it changed to uh, seven. Now after the carbon is balanced, we need to balance the, the hydrogen. So we can now check the hydrogen here. So hydrogen, we can see that on the reactant, we have eight atoms of hydrogen. On the product, we have uh, two. So we are going to divide two into eight is four. So we need four uh, in front of water so that if we multiply four times two we get our eight now from there we can see that here also the oxygen has changed so we have now the total we have the total of 10 atoms of oxygen six from the carbon dioxide and four from the water so now we can now balance the oxygen here so you can see that we have two atoms of oxygen on the reactant part. So we are going to divide uh, two into 10 here is five. So we need five in front of uh, oxygen molecule. Now, after we are done with the writing the balance chemical equation, now we can proceed by finding the theoretical yield. So we are going to focus on two atoms. Uh, compounds here. The first one is uh, propene, then uh, and uh, carbon dioxide. So we have been given the mass of uh, propene, 30 grams, 30 grams, then we are trying to find the mass of carbon dioxide. So we put Xe here. So here, since we are dealing with the compound, we are going to find the relative molecular mass. So let's find the relative molecular mass for uh, propene. So here we can now see Mr. is equal to 
So you can see that we have three atoms of carbon plus eight atoms of hydrogen. So here 12 times 3 plus 1 times 3, I mean times 8. 12 times 3 is 36. 1 times 8, that is just 8. 8 plus 36, we get 40, 44. So we put our 44 here. Then we can also find the mixture for carbon dioxide. So carbon times 1 plus oxygen times 2. So 12 times 1 plus 16 times 2. 12 plus 32, which is giving us a, a 44 here. So we can put our 44, then we cross multiply. So 44, uh, okay, so sorry, there is another part that we need to do with the uh, carbon dioxide. So after finding the molecular mass for carbon dioxide, we need to multiply with the number in front, the number that we use for balancing. So 44 times uh, 3, we need to multiply with 3. So we have 44 times 3, we get 132. So here we are going to have 1 32 then we cross multiply 44 times x is 44 x then here we have 132 times the uh, times the 30 uh, grams so we divide by uh, 44 also here by uh, 44 so you can see that 44 here is 1 44 here is 3. 3 times 30, we get 90 uh, grams. So this is our theoretical yield. Then from there, we can proceed by finding the percentage yield. So percentage yield is equal to actual yield divided by theoretical yield multiplied by 100%. So the actual is the one given in the question 70 uh, grams over uh, theoretical, the calculated one 90 grams multiplied by 100%. So we can now see that if we divide 70 by 90, we have 0 0.777 recurring times 100. So we have about uh, 77.80% as our percentage yield. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching and don't forget to share and subscribe.